Hey there, welcome to hdpiano.com. My name is Nira. In today's lesson, we're going to learn Next to Me by Emily Sandy. This is part one where we learn the intro and the chorus. If you want to continue on to part two, you can go to hdpiano.com. Let's have a listen to the intro. That's the intro of the song. It's also the chorus. I'm going to play it one more time for you. Then we'll break it down, see what I'm doing. One, two, three, four. Cool. So this song is in the key of C, and it starts on an A minor chord. This A minor chord is first inversion, which means that the root, A, is on the top. The right hand is playing eighth notes, one and two and three. And the left hand is holding down a nice, strong, low octave A. Okay, so the intro and the chorus are the same thing. And there are only three chords. We've got A minor. Then we've got G, G over B. So that's a G major chord with B in the bass. And then we have a C chord. Okay, so that A minor is first inversion, A on top. The G chord is also first inversion, G on top. And the C chord is second inversion, which means that it's not root, it's not first inversion, second inversion. G, C, E. So that's the right hand, A minor, G, C, left hand, it's going to play octaves if you've got a stretchy hand, you've got A, B, C, okay, pretty easy to remember, A, B, C. Now I've got three beats for the A minor chord, one and two and three and one beat for G over B, four and, so one and two and three and four and. Then we move to the C chord, one and two and three and four. Okay, so that C chord, we've got one and two and three and, and for that last beat, You drop the E, and you play a C and a G. And if you're feeling extra stretchy, you can keep that low G in there. So one and two and three and four. Or if that's not super comfortable for you, that's totally fine. One and two and three and four. You can go ahead and drop that thumb. So that's the whole thing. We've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, so that G over B, that's a fun one. Then you go over to that C, and that's the intro. The intro goes through that progression twice, and the chorus goes through the progression four times for a total of eight bars. Okay, so I'm going to play through the intro slowly. You can play with me if you like. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. 
Okay, that's the intro. Let's play the chorus, which is the same thing, but four times through. And let's try it at full speed. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that moves along pretty fast, right? Um, okay, let's. Uh, you can use the pedal on this if you want. I'm not using it because I kind of like that it sounds a little more choppy, a little more rock and roll. But if you want to, you can use the pedal. Um, let's play it through one more time slow because I know that kind of jumps up in speed pretty fast. Okay, so let's try it one and two and three and four and. G over B, then C, then A minor, G over B, C, okay, I'm going to get a little faster, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three, a little faster. try it one more time full speed and I think you got it okay so let's do the chorus which is going to be four times through you ready here we go a minor octave right hand let's do it one two three four <laughs> Congratulations, you now know the intro and the chorus. Go on over to hdpiano.com to learn the rest. <laughs>